So, um, I'm running my own business. Uh, so that's why I just wanted to talk, you know, something about COVID nineteen and coronavirus, the pandemic, and uh, how it's affecting like business, like um, like mine, and um, uh, from in Malaysia, from from Malaysia. So in Malaysia, I have this um this business where I have my own clinic. And I do have my own uh, beauty center. It's like a skin center, skin treatment center, and also I ha- I have my own uh, skincare line. So we couldn't open our we couldn't open our spa, our med medical spa, our medi suite. We cannot open that because we are not allowed to operate. Only essential businesses are allowed to operate like for example you know if you have like grocery uh if you have like hypermart halal mart um you know if you sell uh products that are essential uh if you have restaurant you can open like totally open and it's open but only for takeouts so yeah so like spa as usual is not essential business right so we had to close so we have closed right now i think over than a month so how that affected me like my business so what happened was that uh the day before we had to lock down we had to this we had to we we had to close our doors i think that was on the it was announced on the 16th of um of march and then on the 17th we have just one day to actually you know have everything prepared uh, and then the 18 was starting of the they call it the PKP Pakawalan yeah in in English it's movement control order so 16 and hours 17 um, I went straight to the office so what I did was this is what I did I gather all my staffs uh, I have like around eight of them uh, nine including me so ask them you know like uh, do you have any other skills you know so that you know we could make make this through together so so we were like brainstorming about the strategy what do we do what kind of thing so like people have been like my team members have been very supportive they have been like coming up with like stuff to do what kind of platform do you want to sell you know uh, because we have products as well so we could do that so um it's good it's just a good brainstorming and good like planning session just to make sure that you know we are not well we are affected we are actually affected by this covid-19 but we're trying to actually fight through because we know that either way you look at it we have no excuse not to succeed that's all i mean that's my my life motto for example <laughs> so so we made a point of you know like uh, setting up our own online store setting up all, all our platforms and making sure that all that is in place right okay i have to work from home seriously okay i do have a clinic business uh, which is next door but mostly my clinic focuses on um aesthetic like cosmetic dermatology something like that like having a skin condition it's not um it's not life-threatening normally just see patients who are not sick and just have like skin problems and that's it really so you know acne pigmentations and you know sometimes they have like you know scalp problems and hair fell off and uh, stuff like that so yeah so that's that's that so so I thought you know what I cannot risk my team uh, getting infected like exposing to the outside world despite the fact that it's a clinic itself so I'm like you know what that's closed so that's what we did so the business is closed so nothing is on right now off and like the doors I have like uh, we rented like two doors two unit two shop lot units and closed both of them closed okay so <laughs> yeah this for me personally i've not um to be honest there hasn't been a single tear that fell down my cheek so far like thank god for that because i feel that um i think i get more excited about this than i should be because of the fact that we get to learn new stuff like new strategies in order to like deal with all this mess right 
so yeah i'm I'm really positive like as a person mm, sometimes i do complaints but mostly when it comes to business i'm kind of like more optimistic i don't really see things that could go bad like things can go bad if you just focus on them but for me i i really believe in the law of attraction in I really believe the fact that you know what you focus on expands. Like one of the gurus have taught me this: what you focus on expands. So you really need to be careful with what you think about. But there's there's one thing that I've not had enough, uh, and that is sleep, my friends. I have not had enough sleep since um, the movement control order was carried out um i think because uh i do think a lot about it It, it, it's do it's a little bit like um it's scary it is scary to be honest with you it is scary um i've seen friends who actually closed their business and like totally changed the whole business to another business um but you know what that's the best that's the beauty of this you know that's the beauty of all this is to is for us to open our eyes and grounded ourselves you know and and feel that this there's not no such thing as as like a everything is okay so you need to have a backup plan there always has to be a backup plan so yeah and i focused on um more marketing for the products and i have my online store so that wasn't an issue really the issue now is actually um, what's going to happen after the COVID-19, after the all this uh, MCO is lifted. So um, a lot of like my coaches uh, are saying something like it takes time. It takes around like um, 18 months to actually um, to wait for the co- economy to recover. So that is scary. I was about to open my my third branch in um in Bangi. It was supposed to open in June, but we had to shelve it. And thank God I didn't proceed with like the whole deposit for that branch, or else it will just it will just be such a huge burden. Seriously, I'm telling you. I would update you guys on what's next, but really, to be honest with you guys, right now. I feel that um, it's great that the the government what they've done to us um, they're giving this like booster packages to those earning like lower income group and they give like cash out um, it's, it's not well some people might say it's a handout uh, for me it's like it's just it's a booster so meaning it is a booster for the economy it's just getting by you know just making sure that those people who have not had enough all this while have actually a little bit more you know um we don't want we don't want anybody to be left out so that's that's the idea of the government the the malaysian government so many have actually opposed this but i'm not sure but for me i feel that it's it's fair there are there are things that of course in life that we're not happy but um well not everyone can be happy with everything right so yeah <laughs> for me it's good that they you know they have they pay close attention to the low income groups and you know helping them out with you know just the essentials you know do help the entrepreneurs as well um by um paying a little bit um of uh, the the employees uh is like uh giving like benefits something like that so because they know that some of uh, uh most of their business are affected really badly so you know they gave out like money money as well uh to actually just trying to cover those and we have like this uh monitorium basically a mom monitor mom i don't even know how to say it but basically it's like banks okay so basically if you have a car and you have to pay it monthly you don't really have to so that's it <laughs> you really have to for the next six months so they got it covered so you have like extra cash in you in the bank to actually just save it because they're just going to pro- prolong your um tenure uh of the higher purchasing the higher purchasing kind of thing yeah so yeah it, it does help a lot actually it does help a lot 
for all of us to be honest that that's really huge that's really huge for me that's a huge relief like ever so if you have like a house and you have to pay like a monthly kind of thing so you still don't have to pay for that for the next six months okay so the idea is actually to to help us stay inside not do anything outside to just you know uh, flatten the curve and in all sense, um, for um, the beauty industry itself, I feel that you know people are still um, needing help with their skin. They still have like breakouts, especially when you work from home. You have kids around. You know, I'm not uh, like those who stay at home by yourself. Uh, I know you have like a different problem. Like maybe you have, I don't know. You you'll have different problem. But when you have kids around, you have another different kind of problem. So. Like different people have different problem when they deal with this, you know, uh, MCO period. So, like, um, yeah, I've seen like cases where patients have asked me, you know, like their acne started to acting up again, um, and then they have like dry patches as well. And those with eczemas have relapses of, you know, their eczemas, um, something like that. So I feel that you know. Even during this certainty, like even the fact that we know that, of course, the essentials is to you know to get food and drinks, water and electricity and that. But I think, like confidence and you know people, the way people um, feel about themselves is pretty much up there as well. So it is pretty essential, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the update for now. Yeah, welcome to the business life. Wanted to welcome to the entrepreneur world. Let's just hope everything goes back to normal and we ha we can start. We can kickstart everything. We can reopen our businesses, and you know, start to make up for the lost time <laughs> that we've had. And yeah, I think I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!